Hello everyone, myself Dr. Park Goswami and in this short tutorial I will teach you outcome of acute inflammation. In our previous lecture we have seen about the vascular and cellular event, mediators involved in acute inflammation and morphology of acute inflammation. Now let's see what happens once the function of acute inflammation is over. So basically there are three outcome of acute inflammation. One is resolution, second one is healing by fibrosis and third one is progression to chronic inflammation. So first of all, let's talk about the resolution outcome. So you know, the resolution is an ideal outcome seen in any acute inflammation. It is seen when injury is very mild, right? And when there is a less tissue destruction. Here the tissue destruction is very less, right? And injury is very mild so that the involved tissue can regenerate normally. It will regenerate normally to that of uh, archi normal architecture, right? There is a total regeneration. The normal architecture is restored. That's why the name resolution is given. It's an ideal outcome, right? And it sometimes can it can be seen in common cold like that of mild infection, right? And you know here there will be no fibrosis. The fibrosis will not be there, right? It's an ideal outcome. All right. The second variety is healing by fibrosis means here there will be connective tissue replacement right so it usually occurs when you know the injury is severe right here there will be tissue destruction right the tissue destruction is present for example fibrinous inflammation in which there is a fibrin exudation right so you know here the total restoration of normal tissue cannot occur the damaged tissue need to be repaired by fibrosis you know there will be grow of connective tissue there will be growth of connective tissue it's usually in the form of angiogenesis and fibrosis right together they are known by the name granulation tissue so there will be granulation tissue formation like that of chronic inflammation right it is seen when tissue destruction is present all right third variety is progression to chronic inflammation suppose the injurious stimuli suppose the injurious stimuli persist in the body right if it persists in the body or if the injury is severe right where the resolution can't occur where the resolution can't occur so in that variety you know the acute inflammation will get converted into chronic inflammation right and once it is in a chronic inflammation there will be fibrosis understand all right so see, this diagram is from the Robbins book of pathology, which clearly demonstrate all the outcomes of acute inflammation. So whenever there is any injury in the form of, you know, ischemic coagulative necrosis, that is known by the name infection, infarction, you know, bacterial infection, you know, toxin, trauma. So all the injury will lead to acute inflammation. And we know that in acute inflammation, there will be vascular changes in the form of vasodilatation, increased vascular permeability, because of which, you know, neutrophil will exudate in a surrounding tissue right and there will be released of mediators right but once the injury stimuli removed or once the offending agent is removed you know bacteria is cleared by neutrophils by the phagocytosis then you know there will be resolution resolution means clearance of injured injured stimuli injured stimuli is removed so you know there will be complete restoration to the normal tissue Right, complete restoration of normal architecture. There will be clearance of mediators and acute inflammatory cell as well. You might have question how. So you know, once the function of neutrophil is over, they will be removed by the process of phagocytosis. They can be removed by the process of apoptosis, right? And the mediator, and you know, because of increased vascular permeability, there will be exudation of fluid in the acute inflammation. So it will be cleared by lymphatics, right? So that is the resolution. It is the ideal outcome, right? There will be replacement of injured tissue and the cell and the affected tissue will function normally after that. But suppose the injury stimuli persists, there will be viral infection, chronic infection, you know, persistent of injury stimuli, there is autoimmune disease. In all that condition, you know, acute inflammation can progress to chronic inflammation in which there will be angiogenesis, fibrosis 
and so the damaged tissue will be replaced by fibrosis right there will be replacement of tissue destructed tissue by fibrosis here the tissue destruction is not present right all right and you know this chronic inflammation will heal by fibrosis right so i forgot to mention that you know in the resolution stage the neutrophil you know once they do their function this neutrophil inflammatory cells will be removed either by apoptosis or they will removed by process of phagocytosis right once they once they do their function right so that's all about the outcome of acute inflammation resolution healing by fibrosis and third one is conversion to chronic inflammation thank you very much hope you have enjoyed this very short tutorial i will be right back with a new video till then take care and bye bye